One is not to drink to the point of excess. Okay, Paul says, be not drunk with wine, but with the Holy Spirit. Okay, instead, they are to be filled with the Spirit. As has been seen elsewhere, the term to be filled is passive in the Greek. When Paul says be filled with the Spirit, it is passive. It's never active. Okay, so just as be drunk is in the first clause. A person drinks wine, and the wine makes that person drunk. A person, likewise, needs to do something in order to be filled with the Spirit. They need to yield themselves. The believer has all of the Spirit he will ever receive the moment he calls on Christ. But the Spirit can get more of that person. On the day of a person's marriage, they are now married, and they will never get more married. He goes probably very happy about that. But, yeah, I'm never going to get more married to this guy than I am right now. Okay. But the spouse can get more of the other spouse as yielding takes place. So the same is true with the Spirit. In order to be so filled, the Christian is to sing praises, pray, worship, fellowship, read the Bible, talk on the things of the Lord, and so on. In doing these things, the person is filled with the Spirit. Paul's heart is that believers would so yield themselves to the Spirit that they would become revelers in God's goodness at all times, not revelers in dissipation even for a moment. 